Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine Nyungeko, your coach in data analysis using R2. Okay. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you how you can perform network analysis. I'm going to show you how you, cre you can create a data set or import your data set if you have your data set in CSV format. I'm going to show you how you can create a network in R Studio. I'm also going to show you how you can perform network visualization. I'm going to show you how you can analyze networks. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can perform degree analysis, whether it is in general degrees or in degrees or out of degrees. To perform such analysis, you need some library like iGraph. This is a library which is usually used when you are performing network analysis. Before I show you how you can import, how you can create your data set, I'm going to just introduce how network works. For instance, in this example you see here, friends, suppose that you have someone who calls you or who likes your message on Twitter or Facebook. Now, if you want to show you the person one calls you or like the, your message, you use this comment. This is to make the graph. Let down these comments. This, this means the person one calls you or likes your message or sent you an email, but you didn't reply. Let's run this comment. Now you will see here, friends, what we have as a relation. Now I have created my network. I have to visualize this network by running this comment. You see, you, I use this uh, comment plot. This is my network. This is a vertex color which is red and this is the vertex size and this is uh age color let's run this comment and you will see the result friends and this is just an introduction to network visualization and analysis you see here friends this is what we call directed when it is not a directed that means you, you will not see this age like this and let's use many relationships. For instance, in the second example, friends, that means this one, suppose that it is just a mail sending, or it is calling, or it is a like, or it is a following. For instance, this one, number one follows number two, or called number two. Number two follows number three. Number three follows number four. Number four follows number one number three follows number one number two follows number one how this can be visualized using iGraph in r2 such kind of it is easy to visualize this kind of relationship when you have created this network like that let's learn this comment to create this network let i'm going to visualize if i want to analyze such kind of visualization or such kind of connection if I want to analyze the connections I created, I use this comment here. You see, this is my network, and I want to check whether connections were properly created. I use this comment. As you can see here, friends, this one, number one, is connected to number two here. Person, for instance, if it is a kind of person, person 2 is connected to 1. Person 2 is connected to person 1. You see here, friends. You see here, this connection. And the person 2 also is connected to person 3. You see this relationship, this one. And person 3 here, friends, is connected to person 1 and person 4. You see here, this friend person two and four and you see here person three and one this kind of relation and person four is connected to person one or called or like the person one this is kind of this this relationship you see this one okay this is how you can analyze your uh, connections now if you want to view all connections created you use this comment you just you write the name and you you like you learn here or you execute this comment and you can see those connections which were created now you see ages you see flow 
one to two, two to three, three to four, four to one, three to one, two to one. Okay, now I'm going just to make a plot of this relationship. You see, the comment for making plot is the same. What you have to do is to change the name because this is the same comment, and I'm going to to change the name of my network because I created a, a new network and I saved my new network in example two. Let's run these comments. You will see. As you can see, this visualization shows the way connections were created. I'm going to tell you something, friends. Now you see, this is what we call directed relationship because you can see those kind of edges, the form of edges. Let's increase the size. Now you can see how this visualization is and you can see the, uh, the edges or edges but when you don't use set seed when I learn again this comment I will get another form of visualization let's run this comment here friends you will understand the importance of using set seed now let's run this comment now you see the visualization has changed Again, let's learn it again. You will see how this visualization will change. You see, friends, when I learn again the command, the visualization changes. Now, this is this is due to the fact that I didn't use said seed. Let's like, use said seed here. Let's let learn like um, let's set set seed. If you do want to keep the same visualization, you need to use this command set the seed. Whenever you will learn it again, you will have same uh, visualization. Right? Let's for, for instance do like this, and I learn all this one, and you will see now the visualization will not change. You see the kind of visualization, visualization we have. Let's learn it again, and you will see it doesn't change. Look, friends. You see it is the same. Even though I run it again, look here, I run it again. You see it doesn't change. Now this is the interest of using said seed when you are making some visualizations. Now I told you the notion of directed and a non-directive graph. When I want to use, I don't want to see this kind of edges like this. I use this comment directed equals false. Now, let's run this comment and you will see uh, the, the results. Let's run this. You see how edges are. You see now they are different from the one we had, the one we had, the one we had before in the previous visualization. And this is an introduction on how you can create network make visual and make visualization of your network now the subject is to show you how you can create a data set or how you can import your data set now the first way you can use or you can have access to data set is to have your data set in csv format and then you can import your data set in r studio and for instance i have created a small data set related to calls and indicating how one number calls another and how another number calls another. I saved this data set, this small data set in data analysis in social network. Let's run this comment. To have access to this link, you go, you come here, friends, you go in session, set working directory here, friends, you choose the directory like this friends and I'm going normal, normally this is my data set is the here and I open and you see the, the the directory I have is the same as this one you see friends they are the same this is how you can get or can have access to your data saved in your computer the interest of putting here this link or this, this um, setting 
the interest of setting your directory here like this is is that when you will learn again this you will, when you will open again this script you will not need to indicate again when where you saved your data because it is here the link is here you do not need again to learn this command of set set working directory that's why you this is the interest of um showing your your set working directory where you saved your data set now i'm going to import my data sets this is the comment for importing the data set and now i'm going to just show you the data set i have i saved them the name this is because this is just a name i gave to my data set it's just you can give any name you want and you see the data set the small data set how numbers called each other this number calls this one this number calls this one this one calls this one that is this person this person called called this one and so on now i have imported my data set in our working environment now what i can do i can create my network how this can be visualized in kind of network when you have such kind of numbers someone who calls another and someone who calls another or some even though it is a text when in the place of a number there is a name then the person calls another person you can also make su such kind of network analyze this let's call this you see the comment here because they have two columns i need to use this comment data graph dot data dot frame and this is the name where i saved my data set this one friends and i use directed because remember i explained when you want to use the directed or undirected and you see the difference because when it is undirected you see the former but you, you remember when it is directed the way you see those kind of edges now let's run this comment to create my network i can visualize my network because i have just saved my network in calls network where i saved my network and let visualize you remember i have explained to you the interest of using set seed it is to 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 have same visualization when i learn it i learn again my comments now let's run the comment to make a visualization let's run this one now you see the kind of network was created using uh, based on my numbers called na for numbers now this is how my network was uh, this is how my network was created this is the kind of visualization because for instance this one calls this one this one calls this one this one this number calls this number and this number also calls this number this number calls this one and this number calls this one and so on and so forth okay this is the visualization of my network based on the numbers i have now what you can do is just to analyze the network this comment to analyze the network let's run this comment you see what you see in csv in excel format this is how the computer interprets the relationship you see this number calls this one this one calls this one this number calls this one this one and so on now i have created my network now i maybe i can be interested in analyzing in calls or out calls what we call in deep centrality or out centrality or all um, centrality the common degree allows to show all connections this command here degree when you want to visualize all cause whether it is in cause or or cause made or cause received you use this command degree and you have to indicate it is all whether it is cause received or cause performed 
now you will see the total of whether it is in or out calls now you use this comment you see each number how many calls it made it made how it has made or how many calls it has received now you see for instance this 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 number received or made five calls this one five this one five this one ten this one four and so on now when you are interested in analyzing in calls that means receive the calls now you are going let let uh, run it when you want just to make a better presentation you just need to create a data frame and you have a better presentation now you can see uh, this is a better presentation you see here friends this one is five this five and so on now you if you are interested in analyzing in cause what we call in degree centrality that which means a node in degree centrality refers to the number of ties it received now we use this we have to specify here in let's learn this just this comment because it gives us a better presentation because the comment is this one you see friends and i made this comment use this comment and save the result here and i will make a data frame just to, to have the same the pre, as the previous presentation let's run this comment and you will see this is in course look this is in course but when you consider the whole the total number of calls you see the first number got a five you see the first number got five but when you we are interested in received or in calls you see now it is only one here you will see the difference is out out calls now you see let's learn out because i was dealing with in degree let's analyze out degree out degree you see they are same, same comment but i have just to change here on out in or out okay now let's run this comment you will see the first number out will be four let's run the comment let's see the um, the number of out you see here the total is five without degree four and in degree one this is how you can make analysis and for this term i'm going to stop here the first presentation and i will make a deep analysis of some uh, relationship or tendency central tendency in social network analysis in the next video i'm going to show you a second way of creating your data set where you can create your data set using two columns now for instance but you have to pay so much attention when creating your data set let's show you for instance this is the origin and this is the destination for instance andrew here calls berna john or john called fabien Benny here called Michael. Albert here, you see here, called Vena. Jean called Louis. Vena calls Louis. Jean called Michael. That's how you can create when you want to create in two columns your data set. And the next step will be to combine to make one data set this command is to 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 bind c bind now you see i begin with origin but when i change that means when i change for instance and i begin with the de destination this one this one is here the sense will change that means it is bernard who called andrew or andre and or it is fabien who called john but why it is john who called the fabien it is better to understand what you are doing when you want to use this kind of um creation data creation now i can just like i did in the previous presentation with your data imported all the comments you see are the same now let, let's create the network yeah you can see the network here you see how it works bernard andrew you see andrew andre calls bernard look here friends if it is correct or not 
look and the records the nine this is the first relation you see Jean calls Fabien you see uh, Jean calls Fabien you see here Benny calls Michael you see Benny calls Michael this is the network created now I can just make a visualization of my network now this you see I saved my network in the network and I just need to learn this comment good friends um, let's increase the size now you can see how the network was created okay now the final way of creating your um, data set is to use one columns but friends pay attention how you will create your own uh, uh, data set what this is uh, it is like what i show you in the example where when i was using numbers but you have to write correctly if you are working with numbers or names this means Jean called andre andre called emmanuel Jean called emmanuel emmanuel calls charles Jean calls Egid. this is how it works let's learn this, create this but remember you have to pay so much attention when you are going to analyze community analysis don't use this kind of creation of data set i repeat when you want on or when you will analyze community and you make when you will make a community analysis do not use this kind of creation in one column use instead two columns whether you import a data set in two columns or you create your data set in two columns because when you use one columns you will not be able to analyze community okay friends other commands are the same this is just to see the our net because you see the network was saved in this one net less i can see this network here just this one like this and i can just make a plot let uh, reduce the side here can I reduce the sides and i can also delete this one not to be so as not to be confused let's learn the plots i want to plot the my network let's see friends you see this is our curated visualization of our network this one okay friends i think this will help you in network analysis this is was an introduction how you can make a visualization how you can create your data set or how you can import your data set or how you can create your data your network in our studio and i think this will help you i will produce next video related to deep analysis of this network created if you have created a network you can perform some other analysis like uh, as i did for digly like connectivity like uh, uh, other deep analysis like density and so on and so forth you can also perform some other analysis like community like hubs analysis or like uh, authorities analysis those are analysis which will be performed in next video friends if you are not connected to our channel i invite you to subscribe to my channel and like and share my video so as to support my channel i will be pleased to see that people are following my videos because my intention is to to share knowledge or with those who like or who want to learn thank you for watching this video for next next video bye